that's obviously too far forward. So I think really only option is going to be uh, probably not even there because that binds up on the floor super hard. You catch that? Look at that. Putting that under there, it's just on the floor. Yeah, you're going to have to cut your floor out more. I have to cut the floor out more. If I, even if I went there. Yeah. Like, what, what, turbo, what car has a turbo 350 that this thing fits in? That's my question. A body Chevelle. You know, Tyler, I thought I had it with you. Howdy, friends. It's Matt with Driver Studio again today. I'm going to be working on a shifter conversion in the 60 Impala. I have a column shift, got some linkage issues, and I would prefer to have with my 60 Chevy Corvair bucket seats a floor mounted shifter. So I decided to go with bah, 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 American Shifter Company. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to recommend these guys, but if they wanted to be a paid sponsor, it just might happen. A recommendation could be in the works for them. I don't know. But I'll be real with y'all right now. Zero instructions. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. I can't find squat online. I found a YouTube video. Very, 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 very vague. Not helpful at all. They have a link on their page, which on a side note, I just realized this is straight up falling off the wall. Yikes. Okay. That's for another day. Hopefully, my couple craftsmen and, yeah, Harbor Freight tools don't fall off the wall. Anyways, where was I at? So this shifter has zero instructions. You go online to the website. They say to download the instructions, which I did, which is always kind of sketchy, downloading from some random weird third-party site. I did not give instructions. It said there was an error. Nothing worked. After I downloaded everything and tried to open it, so that's odd. Whatever the case, I've got this right here, blown apart. Here is this kit. This is how this looks. Sorry, I didn't show you guys assembling it, but whatever the case, it's three pieces. This is the piece. My wife is gonna kill me. It happens. Come on. Who hasn't bumped the keys in their pocket and had the alarm go off in their wife's car? It happens to the best of us. Uh, anyways. Okay. So, this is the plate setup. Three pieces. Now, you have this piece right here that threads through this. As you can see, this is upside down. I apologize. And that's going to go into the driver's side of the transmission tunnel. Now, it's just a hole, it's not a threaded hole, it's not nothing, but this is going to thread in here to hold into that hole. The back of this, right here, has these fancy pieces. There's two of these curved ones and two of these 90s. Those are gonna go back here and that's gonna hold it on towards the tail shaft of the transmission. Now, I have to say as well, this is for a Turbo 350 kit. This is the passenger side of this piece. Okay, I hope this helps somebody. Now, this, I don't know if your kit came like this, but this is the shifter. Now, mine did not look like this when I got it. This piece right here, this piece, the piece that has the notches. See those notches back there? That is what, this is like a keyway kind of thing. When you depress this cable with the knob on the top of your shift rod, it allows you to shift, park, reverse, neutral, drive, second, first, through those grooves. Okay, I actually had to undo this with the set screw right there and then bang this off this grooved shaft. Put that together and I just lined these up. Everything seems to make sense. So then of course you say, oh, you've got 9,406,000 different ways to mount this on here. Okay. We shall see. Safety first. Safety third. No. 
entirely hole in the seat from the. Uh... Oh, nice. Gnarly hole in the floor from the seat. This, my friends, is not how you install one of these. <laughs> not the easy way, anyway. No, not the easy way. I think most people would be like, what on earth is he doing? So, funny thing is, is like, the shifter kit that comes with it, it's it's quite high. It's craziness. Because it has to go in front of that. <sighs> so, what I'm going to do is slide under the car. And basically, I'm going to feed it up. Yeah, it's backwards. It goes like this. And this piece ties into the back, back here, to this piece. What a cluster. <laughs> Man, what a cluster, dude. Okay. It needs to go forward? Yeah. Okay. We're hanging up on something. Uh, my guess, uh, the transmission tunnel. Whoa. You pulling it back out? So, okay, hold on, I'm sticking my fingers up in here. Okay, so what's going on is the front of this main plate that goes forward, front to back, mm -hmm. it's hitting the front, like the top part of the trans tunnel, okay. and it can't go any farther forward because the back is also hitting the trans tunnel, as in, if you wanna cut backwards towards the back of the car another you know three four inches you might be able to get it but I think it's gonna be the front that's gonna hold you up I'm trying to look underneath there How far forward are you trying to go with this thing? Oh, here you go. You got it fitting? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. You got a couple screws there. Just took a little finesse. Which seems super crazy because there's like, oh, you have this super long bracket back here, but it shouldn't matter once you put the, uh, the back portion on. Come on, almost there. <laughs> oh, you all right? Good save. Okay, there it is. Okay. I hope you got that on camera. No, I didn't, unfortunately, but Man. I know I wish That's I did. Like the first major fail. Started blooper reel. I know.
Let's get those. see we've got one bolt there and another bolt over here on this side we've got to remove to attach the brackets is that right it's all right I win <laughs> this is your easy to crack. Hey. Memory you got. People are gonna be like, it's the biggest freaking hole I've ever seen anybody cut the floor. Like, you know what? It still wasn't big enough. <laughs> oh, I swear if we get this thing in there, it's gonna be a miracle. But it's gonna be a dang miracle. That's what we need. We need a dang miracle. You can do it. Is they're like, oh yeah, mount this together. Mount it together how? Well, the problem that I'm seeing, and this may be the issue, that's kind of why I asked before, is yeah. I don't think we've got the back end of this plate sitting high enough for getting that to hook up, but the only option would be to cut the floor out. Yeah. Now what are we hitting? <laughs> what on earth? Oh, the floor. Right here. There's a brace. Right there. Ew. Let's see. That just brought it up. Okay. Now we're clearing the brace. Okay. Success. Okay. Success, friends. Yay. Okay, so now here's the question. How do they expect this system to work? Okay. Stop that. Bracket. Yep. That should turn go underneath it just like that just like that baby <laughs> okay now we're making moves do you want to start this one or let it be if we have to we can take it out I can see that that thing's like Point it up. And this thing is just madness. Pretty much a guaranteed two person project. This is crazy. I would say a big disclaimer on this is impossible to do. Well, American Shifter Corporation. <laughs> I don't know about impossible, but they definitely uh, install it with the transmission out of the vehicle. Oh, yeah. That's oh, this thing is just crappy quality pieces, you know. I mean, I hate to say that because... I mean, I understand where they're coming from in that they're trying to make a universal one size fits all application for this and every car is going to be different everything's got a different floor plan, plan layout and it's all going to fit on there differently but they should have some sort of disclaimer when you go to order this that hey this probably won't fit yeah there's probably going to be a major modification and you're cutting a big hole in your floor to get it to go yeah i mean i would challenge anybody 
<laughs> Got any challengers there? Challengers? This is just. <laughs> Do you want to know something? What's that? That's not even going to be the hardest one to tighten. No, everything's going to be hard to tighten on this. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, really, I'm going to have to tighten it all from the underside. Made with stamped steel and taps from China. Yeah, I mean, it's just. Everything is wonky. It's not good. And when I say wonky, I don't mean anything derogatory. I just simply mean it's wiggly. Every time I hear the word wonky, all I can think about is the kid's story, wonky donkey. <laughs> Once upon a time. Did this bolt change sizes? Is this bolt still 9 16 Yeah. Problem is that you don't have enough throw there on your ratchet to get it to click. I know. Probably be easier to do that from underneath the car with an extension. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking now. I just wanted to make sure I could snug it up from top side with the... Uh, Heads before I went down there. Got gotcha. you. I mean, now that everything's getting snugged, I mean, it feels like it's not going to go anywhere. Feels pretty solid. Yeah, it feels pretty solid. Still got to do those two bolts on the tail shaft. It's just funny how everything's not really centered. Like, they make it look pretty nice in their video of. I think the whole video is about 90 seconds long, if that, of everything. And you're like, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't show close-ups of anything. Okay, so that's super solid. And I still got to get under there and tighten those to make myself feel comfortable. So that's obviously too far forward. So I think really my only option is going to be probably not even there because that binds up on the floor super hard. You catch that? Look at that. Putting that under there, it's just on the floor. Yeah, you're gonna have to cut your floor out more. I have to cut the floor out more. If I, even if I went there. Yeah. Like, what, what turbo, what car has a turbo 350 that this thing fits in? That's my question. A body Chevelle. You know, Tyler, I thought I had it with you. Let's see. So I think we're still going to cut. No love for the camera, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody's a hero. <laughs> Got it at Walmart. It was on sale. That's why I come prepared with another 65 cent cutoff blade. What's nice is I have plenty of license plates to where that will fill the floor up. Yeah, and look at that. Even mounting that right there, it still binds up on the floor, bro. Are you serious? Look at that. It still hits wow. the floor. Wow. I mean, am I doing something ridiculously wrong? There's, this is the way this mounts. And according to their page, you have eight different ways to mount your, sh no, not in a 60 Impala. There, this car, well, it's craziness. This dude. tunnel is meant for column shift, two speed P glide. All right, well, when in doubt, cut more out. So, no, I only gotta cut a little bit more and it's good. Okay, so now that we've cut 13 by 32 feet squared, hey, look at that. Will that work? Well, now until we hook up the linkage and see if it gets in the way. So I think that's full throw back right there. So that's full throw right there. So I mean, I can mount it right there. That's full throw. Okay. Probably. That. There we go. Great, great movement. Awesome. Oh, 
Look at that. Look at that. Okay. That's that's a success right there. Okay, so that should be first. Second. Let's park. Reverse, neutral. First, second. Uh, I don't know. Should be right. I don't know. Figure it out. All right. Well, I think that's it. We'll uh, we'll shoot part two later. All right. Deuces.